Hello, Epic Eclipse here, and this is the second episode of Prospects Guide. So today we'll be going over camera angles, wall hits, and basically just a whole bunch of things with hitting the ball on the wall, off the wall, getting off the wall, and flying to it, things like that. So it's going to start from pretty newer things, but then get to some more and more advanced things, and I will show you at the end some pretty cool clips of me doing some pretty fun plays with off the wall hits. So that will be like more of a cool aspect to it and see what you can kind of do in the future the more you play with it. So I'm going to be using controller right now which I'm really not too good at. But if I can't do any plays on the controller and I'm going to try to show you I will just do it on my keyboard really quickly. So first let's go with camera angles. What I mean by that is what you play as with your camera with your FOV and stuff like that. So this is what I play at. Uh, I'd recommend going higher with the FOV. I'm just kind of slowly transitioning up and up. But don't go too high because then it could throw you off a little bit in your death perception. So mine is currently at 97, but I think I'm going to try to get it to 105. Camera height 110. Camera angle negative 5. Camera distance 250. And the stiffness and the swivel I just kept the same. Also, I would recommend taking off uh, camera shake. Uh, it does help a lot in a lot of different ways so next up is wall hits so when you're on the wall and the balls on the wall say there's a couple different hits that you can do let's see if I can get an okay camera angle here so you can go press A uh, and then do a directional jump frontwards there's all the directional jumps let me just say that and that's more for if the ball is right in front of you to hit it like that. Then there's backwards, which if you're sideways like that may not be so helpful. But say a ball is coming towards you like from this from this angle, you could backwards hit it to really stop it if it's right against the wall. Then you have to jump off the wall like that, which is uh, just to the left or to the right. So it's uh, directional to the left or right. And then you have sort of like the frontwards downwards motion which is useful if you need to kind of get it from the wall into the goal so basically let me show you some examples here so if we just dribble it over here a little bit and just bring it up that's a useful like wow this is gonna be a little bit hard to explain so if the ball is sort of like let's see if I could just do it from like on the ground the ball to stop a little bit. Alright, I got the ball to stop now. So, if the ball is... Not like that. <laughs> Sorry. So, if the ball is like that to your car, like sort of just above you a little bit, the more helpful thing to do is jump like that off the wall. But it, if it's right off the top of your car, I mean like basically like this close to your, to your car, you jump off like that. Obviously into it instead of away from it. So then, if the ball, if you go in and the ball is like that to your car what you're gonna want to do is this frontwards directional jump to hit it frontwards basically so that's pretty standard of like the directions that you want to go for on the wall and like where but now a lot of mistakes that people make let's see if I can do it with the ball is if the ball sort of sorry that was a controller mistake if the ball is sort of like, let me see if I can just get it up there, off the wall like that, I wouldn't, don't go like that. A lot of people do it, It'll, you'll hit it sometimes, or most of the time, it depends how your death perception is, your coordination with it, and how much you practice with it, obviously. But the better thing to do is, now this has to do with a little bit of flying, so you're going up, not how I wanted it to be. So, that's an example of that hit again. <laughs> Let me try to get it up here really quickly. Okay, so what you do, I'm showing you this on my keyboard, sorry for the typing, is you jump off, then you fly. And you can fly to the ball. Let me just show you a couple of things on the keyboard so I can really do it much easier. So, if the ball's a little bit off the wall, here, let's see if we can get it off. You just fly off and you would hit it basically just fly towards the ball 
and let's say you have like a bad angle to it or you need to jump out you can still use your second little jump like your second directional jump so say if you're like I'll show you if you're like out here and the ball's a little bit out you can roll into it okay so instead of me trying to do it in training I decided to just kind of show you clips of me doing it throughout games because it's a lot easier then so another thing with wall hits is if you're if the ball's coming towards you over here and you're up on the wall you can jump back and fly backwards but I'd recommend just using your air roll button and twisting around and you can fly and instead of having to get like down and move around you can just jump off I'm sorry I put ball cam on you can jump off twist not like that and go after it this is really bad really fucking bad So, besides from all that that I was just saying with the wall hits and how I just showed you the clips, hopefully I put them in pretty easily, uh, another thing that you could do is if the ball is coming towards you and you're on the wall, you can jump off, twist, and fly towards it. I don't know what's wrong with my camera angle right now. Let me try it over here, I'm sorry. So you can flip off and fly towards it and hit it. That's a way of clearing the ball and stuff. But um, let's move on from wall hits and stuff, and I will show you more clips of just like what I mean by what I'm saying, basically. It'd probably be easier that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, one other thing. I know my keyboard's going to be a little loud for this, but if, say you jump off the wall, and you need to go, and you're going downwards, basically. That happens quite often, or if you're like kind of jump off, you're going like that. So, something that will keep you up in the air is if you do do your second jump. So, if you go and you jump off and you jump like that, you'll be going up in the air like you're doing your normal aerial. So, my recommendation is if you need to really go far and jump off, do that little jump, and there you go. You have a little bit more distance and a little bit more control of your car than before. And the other thing that I want to bring up was when you're going for an aerial, if you're going full speed like this and jump, you're literally just going to fly to the roof. <laughs> like, I've got no other way to say it. You're gonna, if you're going really fast, you're going to fly up above the ball when you jump off. So what you want to do is maybe when you're going up, slow down a little bit and then jump off and you'll have much better control of your car and much better control of the speed. So next is wall angled hits, which <laughs> I may be saying that completely wrong, but basically this is to play the ball off the wall from like hitting it. If you hit it into the wall and sort of, it's a lot of math to be honest in Rocket League. If you really figure out like the, the trajectory of the ball and stuff and you can figure out where the car is going to hit it, it's a lot of math technically but you could do it basically from eye so a big thing that I really don't like which I'm gonna just bring up first is now if I'm playing defense we're gonna go with this first because then we could use the offensive side after and you're like say like I'm up over here and there's two of us it's doubles because in threes you can get away with this so I'm up here and I'm challenging the guy and let's say he's like that boost right there and I go up for it and like say I miss now Say the second guy, like your teammate, is right here. Now, as soon as I miss, the ball is basically going to pop off the wall over here. And he's got a very high chance with his momentum to be able to hit the ball quicker than you. And most likely, he'll hit it in the corner and basically it'll be an open net because you guys are both over there and they'll score. So that's a little bit on the defensive side. What I'm meaning by that is... Basically, you want to stay a little bit farther back from your teammate and not be so on top of him, especially in doubles. In threes, you can get away with it if you got someone back in goal, then you have someone back. But in doubles, if you're both on top of each other, then it's really easy to just get a far clear and there's no one in goal and 
that's basically it. Then it's going to be a goal. But back to wall angle hits, which I still feel stupid for saying that because I feel like that's not what it's called. So let's just say you hit it into the wall like over there. You can, if you know the angles, you can play that off very well and use it to your advantage. So, so for example, say you hit it against the wall over here. So then you know it's going to pop out over here and you can hit it again. And then look, it's centered. Now, if you're playing doubles, for what I said, oh, I don't want that to go in. Okay, good. That's very helpful if they're playing on top of each other. Just a quick, basically, I should really be using the dominance to pop it up. So there and there. That's how people can get it past you pretty easily if you're both stacked on top of you. So that's the defensive and offensive way. So if you see two people st stacked on top of each other, and you see you want to kind of be here, so you, they think you're going towards goal and then come around and hit the wall, then hit it again, and then you have a nice, hopefully you can get it past them with that. And if you want to throw out what I was just talking about before too, when it comes up here, you can hit it again, and there you go, you got pretty good center for your teammate would hopefully hit it in. So that's for that sort of angled hit. So the next kind of wall angled hit is if the ball is kind of in the middle here, and if you hit it from like about right here, I would say, hit it towards over there. You could go, just to show you, hit it over there. Then as it's coming back, you can play it because you know where it's going to go and you can hit it in just like that. So it's kind of simple. So let's watch it here. So you hit it up and then you come and you hit it again. Now you could obviously, the better you are, you can make that more fancy. You can do like, I'll show you. You can come over here can come hit it up and aerial it in <laughs> unlike what I did because I forgot to tilt my car forward so that's another hit that you can do that can kind of throw off the other team and quickly get it down court so the next thing I want to say is basically there's one other angle that people really have trouble with now if you pop the ball let's see if I can do it no, I'm not going to be able to do it. To about right here, and you see it's about to hit right here. The ball is not going to come like straight down the wall. See, it's going to pop up like that. See, if you know that, you can come and most people will go for the, like, it to just roll up the wall or something. Or they'll, like, go and, like, jump up the wall and miss it because it'll pop out. But if you wait or you anticipate that that's going to happen... See, most people go for like something like that. If you anticipate that's going to happen, you can go up for the ball and hit it. And get it down past court while they have one defender down. So that's that. And the other thing is, if you hit it like this. Let's see if I can get this up there like how I want it to. So it goes up like that. that. It's going to roll down and it's going to roll off the wall. That's not the best example. Let's see if I can get you a better one here. So it's going to roll up, and then, look, it's going to roll out. Instead of, like, kind of bouncing off and bouncing out. So if you play that roll, if the ball's going a lot faster than that, too, it'll roll out a lot quicker and a lot more. So if you play that roll, see, like, right here, and then you play it, and there you go. You have yourself a center or a shot on goal. You can do whatever you want with that, but I'm just saying, just for the angle-wise, I'm giving you just suggestions of what can happen. When I think I may change the name of these videos and I also think I may change how I'm doing them to get prior videos of me actually doing the maneuvers and just talk over it because I think that would probably be better off but in this video I will show you examples of what I mean in the video so you can kind of see them much better than how I'm doing them at the moment so this has been prospects guide hopefully it will be something different to be honest I don't know how I feel about the name also if you do have an idea for a different name please put it in the comments because I'm sort of thinking of one I'm not too happy with prospect guide so if you have any ideas I was thinking about like something just simpler with like rocket league guide and then I could kind of just put what I'm doing in the video on the side and I thought that would be better so just let me know in the comments it would be greatly appreciated and next video will be working on dribbling actually so that should be a lot of fun so this has been epic eclipse i hope you've enjoyed and see you in the next one